Hello and welcome to the Guitar Lesson for Wicked Game, the version made by James Vincent McMorrow. And the exact version I'm basing this on is linked in the description, as is an acoustic karaoke version so you can hear how it's going to sound. The capo is on the second fret and we'll go through this chronologically, starting off at the intro, which is actually the hardest part. You start off with B minor shape. And here you're barring with your index finger. So you can hit those two notes and then in between those you have those three notes. So you play that, root and then top strings going down. And here you lift your index finger so you're no, no longer barring. So you can hit that open E string. And then going down to the second string. And then A. Hit those two. And this chord occurs on a syncopation. So. So that's those two and then down to the root. And when you come this far, you do this. You hit that chord tone and then either hammer on or pluck the string once more, but it's on the 4th fret, counting from the capo. And then going up. And then go down again. And here you resume the chord tone. Down to the 5th of the A, and then pull off to the open D string. And for the last chord, your normal E. And here, I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do with your finger picking, just just let it go by itself. But you have to do this. Hammer on to a sus4. So you take that, that note, and with your pinky you hit the second fret. And the first one is more, more of a grace note, so you just hit it really fast, and then back. And those three chords, not counting the sus4, are the only chords in the song. So for the verse, we just have... And I'm doing quarter notes on the lowest and then eighth notes. And I'm, I vary it a bit, but normally I would keep the first note a quarter note and then eighth notes or whole notes as you see fit. Or, uh, sorry, half notes. So that's really optional. And you do that thing. That thing, you do it four times. So four times of that, and then we have the chorus. And the chorus, the same chords, except no sus4. You 
just stay on that E. And the variation I do is I just add more eighth notes. So. Like that. And you do that twice. And then we have the interlude, which is exactly like the intro. That. That bit. And then we have the second verse, which is um, similar to the first verse. The chords are uh, exactly the same, of course, uh, except no sus4, but instead we do something fun on the A. So, B minor. You do that bit. So, you make sure to end up on the fifth so that you can pull off to the fourth or the eleventh on the last two notes and then just A. So those three chords are repeated four times, and then the chorus, which is played exactly like the previous one, the interlude, again, like the intro, the third verse, well, here at the third verse, we start off by just hitting the lowest strings, and then gradually introducing more notes. Keeping the dynamics piano, so keep it really soft. And for the last chorus, well, the same chords play the same way as the previous choruses, but instead of playing it twice, we play those three chords four times. And then for the last interlude, it, start, it starts off just like the intro. But the second time you play it, you exclude some of the ornaments. For example, you don't hit that open string and, um, and small changes like that. Basically, you play less, which I don't do in the acoustic karaoke version because I happen to like playing that particular chord. And I suppose the last small variation is that you end on the one, so you don't linger on that E chord. So that's... And it just stops. But that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.